Super Mario Bros is probably a game you're familiar with, but how familiar? Personally, I'm pretty confident in my Super Mario Bros knowledge, so I'm gonna be putting it to the test and trying to recreate Super Mario Bros entirely from memory. No internet, no chat, no reference images, just my head. First things first, we need Mario. Brick blocks? Question block, that's a thing. All right, here's what we need to make. Let's get to work. First, we need to start off by creating the art. And I honestly think this will be the hardest part because I have to draw every single sprite from the original game from memory. First texture we need is the man himself. Obviously, I'm going to be using the greatest art program, Microsoft Paint, Mario. Oh, it's so hard to draw. Oh no, I accidentally closed out of Microsoft Paint and opened GIMP. That's so unfortunate. We're gonna have such an easier time creating art. I mean, it's just starting to look like Mario to me. This looks just like Mario, wow. He has like thick gloves, he has big gloves. I'm remembering, it's coming back to me. I don't know about you guys, but this is probably better than the original sprite, if anything. Brick blocks. Okay, honestly, brick blocks can't be that hard to screw up, right? <laughs> That's not right, but hmm. I mean, compared to the Mario sprite, this brick block looks pretty good. The question block. It's just a block with a question mark. How hard can it really be, right? You know, I think this is good enough for me. Ground block. I think you just have to do like, something like this it was like it's just a weird looking like thing that looks like a ground block to me this is where it'll get a little bit more difficult moving on from simple blocks to creatures so far we have quite the goomba i think if i remember correctly goombas have like an underside maybe oh they have the big angry eyes i swear i swear they have something like this they have to oh no i mean this is a goomba Right? Koopa Troopa's next. This will be interesting. He has like a nose. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. Something is a, a little off about this, I must admit. I think he just needs some arms. Now that he has arms, I think... I think it's pretty accurate. Staying on enemies, I guess I'll do the piranha plants. It's like Pac-Man, right? Uh... <laughs> What color are their prana plants? They're definitely not red and white. Don't actually tell me. That's cheating. That's cheating. Oh, they're green and white. They're green and white. It's like lime green and white. Yeah, and they have the yellow stems. That's it. I think this is perfect. Next would be the power-ups. The mushrooms are... They're like yellow. I know that. And there's the red dots. Uh, this is not... This looks just like a mushroom to me, right? Right. Boom, boom, boom. One up mushroom in the books. Does it have eyes? You know what? I think they do have eyes. Is that a warp pipe? <laughs> uh, I think it's dithered on the sides. It's not dithered. I think there's like a streak. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Looks so bad. Oh my. Flagpole and castle. Oh no. So we have the flag base. Uh, it's good enough for me. This is quite literally the final boss. We have to somehow draw the castle. It's just brick blocks and like a door. Here's where we build up the door. Good enough, I guess. <laughs> now that we have all the sprites, it's time to design level 1-1 as accurately as I can from just my memory. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm making this game and want to make games yourself, I'm using Unity, which is a great tool to get started with. It's free, not super intensive, and is used pretty much everywhere for just about anything. Some great games have been made with Unity, like <laughs> Cuphead, and even my first ever game, which is how I got started with coding. I'm also making this game with Unity, since it has a variety of tools that make it really easy to quickly build 2D games, from a tile editor to built-in 2D physics. So if an idiot like me can figure out Unity, you probably can too. If you want to learn how to make full use of Unity's 2D toolset, there's a full guide that you can check out in the description. And if you just want to get started making games, you can check out the Unity Learn program as well, which has 750 hours of free learning content for all levels of experience. Thanks Unity for sponsoring the video. Now back to whatever this is. All right, I think to start, we just need some brick blocks. These brick blocks do not tile correctly at all, I like it. I think it adds character. Pretty sure you have like a block and then you have like, looks just like the original. It's definitely like this and then you have one here and then you have like one here 
You have like one here, and there's like the Goomba that comes out, 100%. There's a pipe, and then there's like Goombas here. And then there's like another pipe. Perhaps a taller pipe? Yes, maybe, probably not, but we move on. <laughs> you know, this is as far as I really can remember. This is like the kind of iconic part. And even then it's probably not that accurate. I think you have like this kind of thing. But there's like Koopas, there's like a one-up or something. <gasps> oh gosh. Let's go, Uni's in the chat. I know there's like a few of these staircase things, but I don't think that comes until later. That's closer to the end of the level. I'll be honest, guys. I don't know what comes after this. This area right here, if you zoom in, is accurate enough. These pipes are okay, maybe. But then after that, I just, I don't know what's going on anymore. Isn't there a thing where there's like three rows of blocks and like here there's like an invisible one-up mushroom? Maybe. I know they have these staircases somewhere, but this one has a hole in between them. I feel like this level is way shorter than it should be. But I know there's like the pipe at the end where there's like some Goombas down here. And there's a staircase. <laughs> it's a very tall staircase. Um, I think there's an extra one at the top. You have the flagpole. <laughs> I'll make a big tall flagpole. And then the castle. Let's build the castle. <laughs> it does not tile that well. Maybe. It's looking like an exact replica so far. Definitely. Now it is time to add some gameplay. All right, this is our little Mario, dude. He should have physics and fall and hit the ground. Let's go! Physics. All right, now let's give him a script. Let's see if he can jump. Maybe like 450. Let's see if I remember how to do movement. I think you can just do like... Let's make a speed five. Yeah, five seems good. One thing I'll do is you can walk and you can run. So like the faster you're going, the higher you jump. Honestly, pretty good. When you run, you have just enough speed to get on these blocks. So now we need to make a camera that follows Mario to the right, but not backwards for pure authenticity. Oh, and you can't move backwards, but you can move forwards. Let's go. Why did I just jump in the air? That was not. Finally, after hours, the player controller is done. What I'm gonna do now is make a mushroom. Instead of making a separate sprite for Mega Mario, he's literally just gonna be stretched vertically. He's huge, it worked. There we go. So it should move right and then it should bounce off the pipe. It doesn't work, let's go. There we go. Yeah, that was it. The nice thing about that script is that it's exactly the same for the enemies. So I'm gonna make some Goombas. I think it worked. And this should kill me. Oh, let's go, bro. Such an accurate remake. I don't know how many there are. I'll just give it my best guess. Cool. That is clean. I'll put some up here. I know there's Goombas like here, I think. So we have a lot of Goombas. We should make the Koopas. Just grab a Goomba, duplicate it, give it a Koopa Sprite. A complete recreation. All right, so I think it's time to see how my recreation of Super Mario Bros, completely from memory, measures up to the actual game. Starting off, take a look at all of my sprites and compare them to the game sprites. Starting off, we have Mario himself. Right away, I'm thinking the colors that we use may have been a bit off. I think I got the facial shape kind of right, like the mustache and the mouth. I completely forgot about his hair and his ear or whatever that's supposed to be. And he's also skinny. I was very wrong about the dimensions. Brick blocks. I think this one turned out okay. Just the colors are a bit off. I was a bit confused by the more new design. And then the brick block is actually pretty close. I only have three rows of bricks instead of four. There wasn't too much to get wrong here, but I still end up getting quite a bit wrong. Okay, honestly not too bad. The pattern is like a bit off. I'd have to give a solid like 7 out of 10. Actually, that <laughs> that's a bit generous for how different they are. Oh no. It's time to look at the Goomba. I mean, the feet are okay. Why do I think they had a big round nose like a Yoshi? They really don't. 
They have such a creepy grin though. That's actually terrifying. This one I'm actually excited for. Honestly, not bad. I'm honestly proud of myself for getting the colors. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Do the mushrooms have faces? Please. <laughs> no. The colors are not even that close. I kind of messed up. Not great. I think the worst part is honestly just the shape of this. It's so much smaller, but could have been worse. Oh yeah, the block at the bottom of the flagpole is actually a block I just completely forgot existed in the game. I got the shape wrong. I did like a... I did like a... Uh, <laughs> like that. But even worse than the flag is this castle. It's just missing an entire half. Now, the fun part, we get to compare my 1-1 level layout to the actual game. This starting area is literally perfect. I have the question block, I have three empty blocks, question block, three empty blocks, brick block, question block, brick block, question block, brick block, and the exact same thing on this side. I don't expect that to last for long though. I think I went way too overboard on the Goombas, but I got the height right. This is where things started to get a little worse. I kind of had sort of the right idea. I have a gap right here. There's a gap right here, and then I have, um, I have a row of blocks. I can't even try and salvage this one. Um, <laughs> there's literally no similarities. You can tell it was a little off, but this was obviously made to look like this part. Okay, I got the height of the staircases right. Not too bad compared to the previous sections. After this part is the pipe and the Goombas. There's two Goombas, I think I put like three, and I'm missing this row of blocks. There's a pipe at the end here, which I don't have. Honestly, went better than I could have hoped for. Let's, let's win. That's the win animation. We won the game. There you have it. My perfect recreation of Super Mario Bros. from memory. I guess what I learned today is that I do not know Super Mario Bros. as well as I thought.